Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is Day. In today's video, we are going to do we're going to take a look at what I picked up from the Criterion Flash Sale. I picked up five titles from the uh, Criterion Flash Sale. I try to jump on it when Criterion do it. I don't do the Barnes and Noble one as much because I get you get points when you order directly from Criterion, and you order I think 500 points worth of stuff, you get 50 bucks off. That's that's a free 4K during normal pricing. And that's two 4Ks if you buy them during another flash sale. So I usually buy direct from Criterion instead of buying from Barnes & Noble. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at some movies that I picked up. And you'll notice that I'm in a different area. I am in a different room of my house. I cannot go down to my movie room. I am recovering from surgery. So I am uh, basically restricted to the first floor of my house. I can't go up any store, uh, up and down any stairs right now, so I won't be back probably in my movie room for another month. So yeah, yikes! I'm recovering from surgery. So let's dive in and take a look at what I picked up from the Criterion Flash Sale. I picked up this is one that I wanted to check out. Um, it just actually I wanted to check this one out, but during the last Flash Sale, this movie was coming out. It wasn't out yet but it was coming so i said i'll just grab the next one meaning this one and that is after hours so this is a from what i gather this is a good movie i didn't i didn't see it i ran the trailer for it it looked interesting excuse me so i said i'll go ahead and check it out and this is the only 4k the other four movies i got from cartoon were all blu-rays or all blu-rays uh, next up, I picked up, this is a movie that I saw back in the day when I was a kid in school. This was one of the movies, I talk about school movies a lot, movies that I saw in the classroom. And this is one of those movies, and this is called La Bamba with Lou Diamond Phillip. This was a great movie. I think Lou Diamond Phillip, a very young Lou Diamond Phillip, did a great job. I think everybody in this movie did a great job. It's the story of Richie Valens. Fantastic movie. I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad to have it in the Criterion Collection. Here's a, uh, a black and white movie. I do like black and white movies. Um, I'm not like a super fan of black and white movies, but I do like some of the charm of these older black and white movies. Very good movies, very entertaining. My wife likes them, so I like to watch them with her. And this one is called Anatomy of Murder. Uh, of a Murder. This is called Anatomy of a Murder. Again, I saw the trailer for it. It looks pretty good. So I said I'd go ahead and check this one out. Anatomy of a Murder. Neil, I know you saw this movie, Neil. This got Neil written all over it. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I know for a fact Neil saw this movie. Um, this one is a, not really an old movie. This got Tobey Maguire and a host of others. And it's called Ride with the Devil. It's a it's a it's a western movie. It looks pretty good. Um, I didn't see it before, so I was glad to pick it up and put it into my collection. And here's one that I did see, and I liked it. So I said, I'll just go ahead and grab it on the Criterion Flash Sale. It's a Cronenberg film. I do like Cronenberg. Not all, but most of Cronenberg, uh, Cronenberg's work. And this is The Brood. Really good movie. I enjoyed The Brood. I thought it was fantastic. Great to have it on Criterion Collection. So those are my Criterion pickups. I'm going to come back with another pickup video. I always like to make the Criterion video a separate video. Um, I'll come back and you know what? Eh, this is only three minutes long. Let's go ahead and take a look at what my whatnot haul too. So that was my Criterion pickup. We'll do my whatnot pickup. I was going to do two videos, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and knock it out now. And um, yeah, I wanted to put together a Halloween uh, video for you guys and I still might. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to put it together if I can't get into my movie room, but... I got five days to figure that one out, I think. Five or six, wait a minute, what's today? The 20, I think I got like five, six days to figure it out. So, anyway, this is what everything else I got from Whatnot. So, let's take a look at what I picked up from Whatnot. I picked up Transformers Rise of the Beast. Fantastic movie. Me and my son went to the theaters to check this one out, and I enjoyed it. There were some weak points in it, but for the most part, this was a good movie. I'd give it a good eight, uh, eight out of five, maybe a 7.58 leaning more towards that eight. There was a few things about it that could have used some work, but overall, it was very entertaining. And I like the rebooted Transformers series. I think the first in that rebooted universe was Bumblebee, 
followed up by this. And I do hope that they um, do that crossover with G.I. Joe. That would be pretty cool. If you saw this movie and you saw the end, that's where it's headed. So that would be pretty dope. This one I saw on Netflix, and I actually enjoyed it. So I was able to grab this for a few pennies, well, a few bucks, and um, we got Knock at the Cabin. I thought this movie was really, really good. This is definitely M. Night Shyamalan right here. This is an M. Night movie. It, it reeks of M. Night in a good way. M. Night fell off for a little bit there. He was making some weird stuff, but I think as far as I'm concerned, I kind of balance M. Night's filmography. It's kind of balanced to me, his good stuff and his whack stuff. So he's 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 batting about 50-50 for me. Next up, this is a movie that I saw a couple of times and I enjoyed it. I'm not the I got one other e, uh, Evil Dead movie in my collection. I'm not a super fan of Evil Dead. I'm not a critic either, but I just didn't really get into the Evil Dead all crazy like that. I do have one. I forget which one I have in my collection, but I was really really Please to get this one, Evil Dead Rises. Really good movie, gross, crazy, sadistic kills, bloody, gory, but this is a really solid movie. I enjoyed it. Um, really good. A lot of brutality in that movie. Jeez, I mean, if you're not into brutality and grossness, don't watch it. Here's one that I watched, and I, me and my daughter watched this one, then me and the wife watched it. It was, it was good enough for me to want to watch it again within the same week. I mean, I'm laid up right now, so I don't have really a whole lot to do. So, The Black Men. This movie was funny. Uh, if you haven't seen this one, I suggest you go ahead and check this one out. It, it's, it's, it's not a banger, but it's close to being a banger. It's a good movie. Here's one that is an absolute banger. A lot of people was complaining about the ending, how it just left you hanging. Definitely a cliffhanger ended, but you see it's definitely going to be another one. And this is a Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. They did a great job with this movie. I tell you what, this movie and the last one, Into the Multi, Into the Spider-Verse, was banging. I, I like what they did with both of these movies. I like the music. The music in these two movies are phenomenal. They got some fantastic music in these movies. They did a great job. I mean, Sony... And Metro Boomin, they collabed on the soundtrack for this movie. Uh, for this movie, and you can tell it's got Metro Boomin all over. If those of you who are not familiar with the with uh, R&B and hip hop, Metro Boomin is a very, very popular music producer in that world, and he put out a lot of hits. And you can tell Metro Boomin had his hand on the soundtrack for this um, for this movie. Fantastic music, I'm trying to tell you. The movie was great. But it's rare for me to see a movie where the movie is good and the music that go along with the movie is just as good as the movie. Now, there's a lot of movies with great soundtracks. I'm not saying that, but it's more movies that don't have good soundtracks is what I'm trying to say. Here's one that I saw many, many times. I enjoyed it. I was waiting to get it in my collection. I know the 4K is out, and I saw the Blu-ray for a really good price, so I grabbed it, The Exorcist 3. There is a 4K for this. But the Blu-ray the Blu-ray looks really good. I've seen the Blu-ray. It looks good. And for the price, I said, I'll just get the Blu-ray. Here's another one that just did. This one got a 4K release. And I didn't know this had a 4K release at the time when I got this. I probably would have waited. Because this is a super, well, it's not super old. But it's probably about as old as The Exorcist 3. Probably maybe a little bit older. But this one is cool. Though. This is a Scream Factory Blu-ray. So I'm, I'm content with this. Pumpkinhead. This is an upgrade. I got the DVD. The Collector's Edition DVD. And that looks okay. But I know this Blu-ray will be a nice little upgrade. And the 4K will even be a better upgrade. But I'm definitely not going to get the 4K. Uh, 4K. I don't upgrade Blu-rays to 4Ks. I upgrade DVDs to 4Ks. So that's how I do. I know, I know. I'm I'm boring. Oh, I thought, okay, so I did get another Blu-ray uh, 4K in this haul. So I picked up uh, A24, I do like A24. They are definitely, they definitely be, they definitely been hitting some home runs. And this is Talk To Me. Me and the wife watched this movie and it was fantastic. I really liked it. I know a lot of the reviews on this one is mixed, but I really enjoyed Talk To Me. This is a 4K. So yeah, Talk To Me, this is a good horror movie. I dug it. I thought A24 put, put some work into this one and I enjoyed it.
So that's my pickup. That's my haul. That's everything. We're going to do what we normally do. Um, we're going to go ahead and recap everything. So from the Criterion Flash Sale, we got The Brood. We got Ride with the Devil. We got Anatomy of a Murder. We got La Bamba. Great movie. I enjoyed that one, even as a kid and as an adult. And this one here is After Hours. I got to check this one out. Next up, we picked up. This is from Whatnot. Talk to me. Pumpkinhead. The Exorcist 3. Across the Spider Verse. The Blackening. The Evil Dead Rises. Knock at the Cabin. Yeah, knock at, yeah, yep, knock at the Cabin. And Transformers Rise of the Beast. Well, guys, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Content has not been normal. It hasn't. I haven't had a normal upload schedule. I'm recovering from surgery again. Like I said, I'm about two weeks post-op, so I'm recovering. It's, uh, a, it's a nice little recover road to recovery for me. Uh, it's a total of six to twelve week recovery, depending on how well I do with therapy and all that stuff, physical therapy. But I'm looking to recover and get back down into my movie room. So without further ado, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Sorry for the lighting. You might hear the fan in the background. This is just not my normal area. Poor lighting, but I wanted to do a video because I was, part of it was I was bored. And I did want to show you guys what I picked up from the Criterion Flash Sale. That was my big motivation for the video. And I'm bored out of my wits. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.